Hello, my name is Lewis Thomas. You can call me Lewis. And I'm here today to talk to you about something that is very interesting. Uh, I just, you know, this, this, the end of last year, which was, would it be 2007, the Lord gave me some special revelations. Some revelations that uh, would change the lives of those that are in the church and as well as outside of the church. Uh, some information that would bring liberation to human beings, period. And I'm going to share those things with you today. The revelations that I've been getting are concerning something that we're not really hearing being discussed in the media. Even our spiritual leaders or as they call themselves spiritual coverings heads they are not informing us of this this ever present and and ever and ubiquitous danger the ubiquitous danger is this God never intended that the body of Christ should be in debt to those that are walking in sin. We should not be in debt to them whether it be financially or in the exhibition of the fruits of the Spirit spoken of in Galatians chapter 5. We ought to be leaders financially and in the spiritual sense as with the fruits of the Spirit. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. I am seeing right now that there is a stronghold. A stronghold that has a Herculean grip on the body of Christ. And even though we are living in a time where there's the internet, we have satellites in the sky, we have all this mass transportation, yet our spiritual leaders are not warning us of this ever-present danger of being in debt. Don't you know that the same things that God says about the devil and the thing, same thing that he says about sin is the same thing that he says about debt? Yes, debt. Debt. Now, I want, I want to paint a scenario to you. Let's say we, we, we're really living in a fantasy world. I want to show you how. Let's say you go to college and you get a loan to go to college. Let's say that loan is going to cost you about $50,000. And then you're going to go get your master's. That's going to cost you another $50,000. Before you even get out of school, you're in debt. $100,000. And if it's an interest-bearing uh, loan, you're in debt even more. But let's just deal with the $100,000 figure. And then you get married to that special someone who, by the way, is also a college graduate. And they also have somewhere up to $100,000 in debt. They have a master's degree, an advanced degree, and uh, they had four years of college and they're in debt, $100,000. Before you even get out of college, you're in debt. $200,000 between the two of you. And let's add on to that credit card debt. You know, all those pieces and all those keg parties uh, that were in the dorm. So you're talking probably another, I would say another, let's just say, I'm going to be easy on you. Let's say another $10,000. So you're talking about 
$220,000. Now look at this. Don't you know that's a quarter of a million dollars of debt? And you haven't made any money. And then, of course, when you graduate and walk across the stage, stage to receive your diploma, you want to get married to that sweetheart of yours. And so now, let's add on another $20,000 in debt. I'm being real easy here because it could really go a lot higher than that. But another $20,000. So now you're uh, one two hundred and forty thousand dollars in debt and now you gotta have a place to live so now you gotta go because you have master's degree you have to you have to live like masters so now you gotta go buy a three hundred thousand dollar home and mind you when you add on interest that you're gonna pay and insurance you're gonna pay somewhere close to three times the amount for that home so now, three times three is nine. So you're talking about $900,000 in debt over a 30-year period. You already have $240,000 in debt. So now you're talking about $1,120,000 one point two million one point one million dollars in debt and you know you have to have a car and you have to have a car that a master would drive because you have a master's degree and so now you gotta go out and buy a fifty thousand dollar truck or a fifty thousand dollar car and not just one because it's two of you and then you got to go out and buy um, a $20,000 minivan. You see where I'm going here? So even if you're leasing or even and, and, and even if you get a loan, you're talking about quite possibly and you're going to spend double for the car with insurance and all of this, all the other fees that you're going to have. You're talking about you're in debt. 1.2 million dollars. You got to have furniture. You, you, you see where I'm going with this? Why aren't these ministers warning us about debt? These w ministers, and then look at this, the ministers want 10% of your income. The Bible says, not 10% of your income, the Bible says 10% of your increase, not income increase is what you have after you have paid all your bills what you have left over is increase after you take care of all of your necessary operating expenses now I know your pastor doesn't teach you how to pay return tithes this way I know that I know that I know that he's kept you in darkness but the Bible says you only return tithes on your increase Increase that's above and beyond all the things that God gives you because He says He supplies all your needs according to His riches in glory as it is in Christ Jesus. When Adam was when Adam was born, when I say born, I mean created. When he was born, he didn't have to pay tithe on everything that was on the, on earth. God supplied all the things that he needed in order to build up his kingdom. These ministers are getting ties from you people and you all are not even making any money. How are you making money and you are $1,200,000 in debt? There is no increase as long as you have that debt. There is no increase. The Bible says that the, 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 the borrower is servant to the lender. The Bible says, written unto Caesar what is Caesar, and written unto God what is God's. 
So if you're in debt, one million two hundred thousand dollars, you don't have any increase. You don't have a tithe. But these ministers, but these ministers are shortchanging us. And so these are just some snippets that I'm going to give. I'm going to give them on a regular basis. And they're going to go all over the World Wide Web to wake up the people of God. Uh, this is the tough guy. Better known as Lewis and Prophet Six. You guys take it easy. And let me tell you this. Get out of debt. In Jesus name. Amen.